I really should have seen this one coming. A couple days ago, Alabama running back Keelan Robinson entered the transfer portal, and this was a huge loss for the Crimson Tide. Yeah, they have four or five other blue chip prospects in the backfield, but Robinson showed a lot of flash as a freshman in 2019, and people really expected him to step up in 2021 now that Najee Harris is gone. As I previously stated, Robinson entered his name into the transfer portal earlier this week, and tonight he announced where he is going to school. He chose the Texas Longhorns, and he will be reunited with his former offensive coordinator, Steve Sarkeesian. It honestly makes too much sense, and this is a huge commitment for the Texas Longhorns program. I really cannot overestimate how big of a deal this is. I really like Keelan Robinson, and this potentially changes the Texas offense going into 2021. Today, we're going to talk about who Keelan Robinson is, why I am so high on him, and how this changes the Longhorns 2021 fall. So, let's just jump right into it. Keelan Robinson was born to play the game of football, and he was a huge star on the East Coast. He went to St. John's College High School in Washington, D.C. and became a standout prospect while he was there. He would blossom into a four-star blue chip running back and had all the offers in the world. He'd eventually commit to the Alabama Crimson Tide over the likes of Florida State, Georgia, Michigan, and USC, and all four of those schools produced good NFL running backs. He was recruited by offensive coordinator Mike Loxley, who is now at Maryland, and he loved the culture and the fit at Alabama. As a true freshman for the Crimson Tide, Robinson would carry the ball 39 times for 254 yards and a total of two touchdowns, and his touchdown against New Mexico State was a 74-yard rush, and at that moment, both Alabama and college football fans saw that Keelan Robinson was a future superstar in the making, as it was just one of those plays where you just said, wow. Unfortunately, Robinson would opt out of the 2020 college football season, and he allowed some of the backups to get valuable reps, and I wonder if they're going to take his spot. There were some rumors that Robinson would move to wide receiver, but apparently Nick Saban had filled that position with Ohio State transfer Jamison Williams. So what does this mean for both Alabama and Texas? Well, first for Alabama, it's going to be a very interesting running back room, which makes it very fascinating. The last two seasons have been Najee Harris, and as much as I liked him, I was ready for him to move on to see some of the other faces and big recruits that Nick Saban had brought in. So far, this year's backfield will include senior Brian Robinson, who I think will be the starter, but there are some really good players behind him with Jace McClellan, Roy Dell Williams, and former top 10 recruit Trey Sanders. Also, don't forget, Alabama signed a five-star running back in their 2021 class, and his name is Kamar Wheaton, and all five of these guys should get snaps this upcoming season, and I am really fascinated by this group, and I'm actually going to make a video on that pretty soon. Overall, Bama won't be hurt by losing Keelan Robinson, and while it does sting and he was a great player, they will definitely have someone to take his spot and probably be just as good, if not better, than Robinson would be. On the other hand, this helps out Texas a lot, in my opinion. He was reunited with offensive coordinator Steve Sarkeesian, and in most normal circumstances, Robinson would be the starter. Instead, he will likely be the backup or used differently in the offense, as the Longhorns already have a superstar sophomore with the same last name, B. John Robinson. He was a five-star prospect coming out of the state of Arizona and is one of the best running back recruits of all time. He showed a ton of flash as a true freshman last year for the Longhorns, and some say he is a dark horse Heisman contender. Bijan will be the number one guy, but do not sleep on Keelan. He will likely get a ton of snaps, and I think he will line up at wide receiver at times, as Texas lost their best wide receiver Brennan Eagles to the NFL last year. Plus, we know how much Steve Sarkeesian loves his offense and his passing, and Robinson's a guy who can both run and catch the ball, so I expect him to be doing a ton of different things, and it's going to be really exciting. Those two guys are going to form a dynamic Robinson duo for the Texas backfield, but they have a couple other weapons as well. Roshan Johnson was a big-time recruit command of high school, and Daniel Young is an experienced player, so those two will have a smaller role, but a chance to be a part of the offense. Keelan would announce his decision tonight on Twitter, posting a tweet of him in a Texas uniform saying, All gas, no brakes. Straight Zaw, hashtag hook'em. Texas running backs coach Strand Dayton has a lot of work to do on his hands, as he'll have to figure out how he's going to get all these guys involved, and there is so much talent in this Texas running back room now. In terms of an actual scouting report on Robinson, here's what a Texas scout had to say. Quote, He is a compact and well-proportioned runner. He has great footwork out of his stance and presses the hole quickly and decisively. He has great vision and is a one-cut-and-gone runner who will excel in the outside zone game. He has exceptional cutting skills, acceleration skills, and top-end speed, 
has lateral quickness, and seems like a slippery dude. His legs move on contact and is always leaning forward, does not give up on plays, and always seems to get something for his efforts. Sarkeesian knows him from Bama, so he's a known commodity to the staff. So obviously there's a lot of praise, but what are the downsides to Keelan's game? So far the biggest question mark surrounding him is that there is limited film on him in college. As we said earlier, he didn't play a whole lot as a true freshman, and he opted out of the 2020 season, so we have not really seen much of him against college competition. He's not the best pass or receiving blocker, and he hasn't played meaningful football in nearly two years now. It looks like there is no obvious glaring holes in his game, so if Keelan can get back to his high school form, and if he can develop in the Texas Strength and Conditioning program, he should be a really good player. In terms of the other schools that Robinson would consider, he had a ton of different programs reached out to him. The list included Oklahoma, Michigan, California, Jackson State, and Maryland. Oklahoma obviously has a lot of good running backs, with both Kennedy Brooks and Tennessee transfer Eric Gray there, so I'm not really sure why they would want him, but Robinson is a long-term player for them, and it never hurts to have more talent. Michigan has Hassan Haskins, Blake Corum, and true freshman Donovan Edwards, but once again, he's a talented player, and there would be no reason not to take him. California has lacked a good running back since Patrick Laird, and they could probably promise Robinson playing time immediately. Jackson State is the trendy school right now at Deion Sanders at the helm, and he would have had the potential to be the face of HBCU football. And finally, the Maryland Terrapins are in need of a running back after Jake Funk was taken in the NFL Draft, plus Mike Loxley was the guy who recruited him, and he's from the D.C. area, so he'd be closer to home. According to sources, Keelan had a lot of trust with Coach Sark, and he knew that Steve knew how talented he was. When he was asked why he committed to Texas, he said, quote, ain't nothing to say other than I'm headed there. This is huge for Texas football. Bijan Robinson was a five star and he showed a lot of flash as a freshman, but they still lost one of their better players in Keontae Ingram as he would transfer to USC. They needed a backup option or someone else to help split carries with Bijan and Keelan is the absolute perfect guy for this. To quickly recap, he was a big time prep star on the East Coast coming out of the DC area and he'd originally take his talents to Alabama. He saw the field a little bit as a freshman for the Tide and had one play that made everyone say wow. After opting out of the 2020 season, he decided to enter his name into the transfer portal where he really considered about five or six different schools. He eventually reunited with his former offensive coordinator Steve Sarkeesian, who is now the head coach at Texas, and Robinson will look to play immediately. What do you guys think though? If you're a Texas or an Alabama fan, let me know your thoughts, give me your expectations for Texas in 2021, suggest what topic I should do next, hit that like button if you want to support today's video, subscribe if you have not already, and check out all my other videos on the end screen, including my video about Texas' new quarterback battle. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time. Peace.